Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Citizen in Alpha 3.13.1 now and it is Invictus launch week which I presume means we get to fly some ships for free which we do not own. Uh, I periodically check in on Star Citizen to see how things are going. I haven't had to do that too often <laughs> because uh, the progress has been slow, but and it so happens that now we have Elite Odyssey uh, out, though I'm going to wait until they have patched many things before I make a video on that. Then there's this, Star Citizen, which we know is buggy. Uh, in fact, I had a lot of trouble just logging into the game. Uh, it kept crashing on this main menu. Finally, the main menu works. But I don't have faith that if I close the game and start it again, it would work again. <laughs> so let's let's have as much fun as we can while it works. I'm just gonna go straight into the Persistent Universe and here we go with the character creation again. Okay, here. This at least we don't have to mix. I don't have a... Oh, that's a... Uh, that's a very expanse sort of deal. Almost. That's it's pretty good. I guess we can't change lipstick or something like that. I wonder what the options oh that's just general options. This is not bad. Alright. Whoa, that's a weird outfit. Okay, I guess that's space underwear for you. Okay. New Babbage Microtech. I saw that there was a race on Microtech. I guess we'll start at Lorville. Best yeah, let's see what happens. Can it load? I've got track IR. And we'll see how that works out for us. Well, while it's loading, I'll tell you that my specs are an i7-4790K since this will be bound to come up. i7-4790K running at 4 GHz, 32 gigs of RAM, an RTX 2070 video card, and... The game is running off of an M2 SSD, though not a very good one. It's just 800 megabytes per second. So, yeah. That is the current situation for reference. And of course, I'm recording off of the same computer I'm running it on. So that, that will have an effect. Uh, and choppy on loading as usual. Uh, getting up and yeah it says encoding overloaded on my OBS so let me try and set affinity and see if that helps used to have the frame rate in the upper corner but I reset that configuration file just in case it was having it was the reason why I was having trouble loading it didn't seem to be Wow okay Okay. Well, here we go again. Um, there I am, helmeted and suited. It's a good time to try it out during these sorts of special weeks because there are a lot of people playing. And so basically the server load is at its worst. And we're really giving it a stress test. Presumably on... Uh, at normal times, things would be smoother. So, I want to go to the spaceport. Oh, 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 sneak up, yes! Did they say Metro Center? I mean... They should have said Tisa Spaceport, right? Anyway. People still standing around randomly and standing on seats. They gave people a free Avenger Titan, but I already had an Avenger Titan, so... Hangar 9, okay. Oh, don't get in my face. Whoa, there's a lot of people. And they're blocking my way.
You guys are real cozy. <laughs> Let's just not talk about immersion, okay? Okay, let me neutralize my controls ahead of time. Hopefully that I'll save some pain and suffering. Okay, well, now I've got the track IR doing its thing. Uh, let me center that in a better way. Okay. Um, friends, Lowerville Landing. Ah. Okay. Oh, I can look up. Just, okay. Okay, all clear. Okay. I've got unexpected problems. Oh, okay. I just had a couple, I guess. Ooh. I'm going up very, very slowly. Oh, I've got gravity. No. Ah. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. This is not the way I want to go. Uh oh. No. I've got my thrust forward all the way. It's just not going anywhere. Hmm. Whoa. That's not good. Oh, okay. I think one of my axes is reversed. Okay, I think it's okay right now. Alright, we are in space. I have little pew pew weapons. And the planet below is really dark. So, not too interesting there. Up, oh, it actually says in. Is that the. Well, there's Arc Core, Invictus Launch Fleet. So, do I go to this Invictus Launch Fleet over here, or do I go to Microtech and New Babbage? Okay, I think we're going to Microtech and New Babbage, but. Maybe that's wrong. We'll find out. Okay, well, we're off to Microtech. And it's choppy, it's a bit choppy these days. Okay, got some stuff here. Enjoy the lighting of my bay. Radioactive material work area, huh? Guess it's good to have one of those. But why two? No idea. It's always a long trip. And this is not exactly the view I want. Hopefully New Babbage is on my side of the planet right now. Well, the transition from quantum travel to being free to control the thing is faster. Okay, is that New Babbage? I swear, sometimes I manage to mess up the quantum drive. Let me see if I can activate it this way. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna get out of my seat and get back in my seat and then maybe that'll reset it. Silly quantum drives don't want to... ...be consistent. They're quantum after all. Mainly, calling a quantum drive is reflective of the fact that it only works some of the time. Oh, we're coming down in an interesting fashion. Oh, uh, it always has to be nighttime. Maybe the sun won't have completely set. Okay. Not bad.
Well, I think they have fireworks. I guess we should head over to where the fireworks are, huh? Is there this rain, huh? I see little droplets on my windshield. That's just causing more lag. <laughs> uh. Okay. Gingerly. Made a hash of it on launch because my axes were incorrect. Maybe we can make up for it a little bit. Maybe. All right, sure, so let's power off, get out, and see what all the fuss is about. Okay, where are we going? I guess the terminal. I vaguely remember this place. Oh, things are loading. I, I guess an uh, empty metro loop is where we want to go, but where are we going? Oh, down here. Okay, down here. Jeez. Really clear, folks. Really crystal clear over here. Microtech reminds me of Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> Very much so. So, Invictus Launch Week's show floor this way. Alright. Another elevator? Really? Why not just have the metro right under, under the thing, huh? I don't know, usually I just go down a flight of stairs to a metro, it's not usually an elevator. It's, re it's weird having an elevator to a metro station, come to think of it. Because there's too much volume, there's too many people going through, you wouldn't have an elevator. Okay, uh, that, I guess show floor this way. Oh, 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 hurry, 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 hurry. Uh, got in, alright. I haven't had to wait for a train yet. <laughs> Good times. Can we see the fireworks from in here? Yeah, yeah we can. That's nice. They're sort of weakish fireworks, but still. Invictus so Roman. <laughs> oh, that was weird. I okay, that was weird. But uh, is this this the one? No, no, this is not the one. Okay, is this the right stop? Yeah. This way. It's all very military, united in purpose. I just want to be a traitor, I don't care about your military stuff. <laughs> look at that, look at that. They took time to do that. <laughs> they should do other things. <laughs> oh, man. RSI Hall, I suppose so. It's dark in the... Oh, uh, uh, I, I don't know which one do I want. I've confused the elevator now. It's dark in the elevator. You can hear the fireworks from in here, which is sort of interesting. What the heck is this for? One of the things about Star Citizen is the nothing is utilitarian. <laughs> Absolutely nothing is utilitarian. 
Aurora LN. Uh, Mantis, Mantis. Alright, let's run to Mantis. Constellation Phoenix, huh? Well... Might as well. Yeah, it can take one of the little snub fighters. Oh, look at that, it's got one here. Archimedes. I've got the Merlin, which is the silverish one. The Archimedes is the upgraded version. I thought this ramp was for putting the snub fighter in, but no, it's just got on the belly there. And this is the main cargo ramp. I guess you could drive a rover into it. Um, you guys are all constellations, aren't you? Constellation Aquila. Really pushing these constellations. Constellation Andromeda. Well, here's a rover. Or two. Ursa rover. Well, why not? What about that race? I need to figure out... Whoa. This person... That, that person's slowly sinking. We've got quicksand stairs over here. Don't even know how that happens. I mean... I know a vague amount of colliders and game physics. I have no idea how somebody's gonna be randomly sinking into stairs that presumably have colliders in on them. I, I don't even know how that happens, really. <laughs> it's just... That person just went physicsless, but very slowly? I mean, I don't understand. We could buy these. I guess, I mean, but I'd have to figure out whether I can fit them at all or not. I really need to look at what my my Avenger Titan can actually take. Alright, let me see about the race. All this navy stuff that they're doing. Anyway, I took a look at the description and it says, Grab an Avenger Titan. And I obviously already have one, but they gave everyone an Avenger Titan for free. Land as centered as possible on the MT Metroloop hub landing pad. Use video capture software to record your attempt. Well, I'll be doing that, obviously. And then we fly through triangles, it looks like. So, we're gonna go back to Spaceport, grab my Avenger Titan. Your race time ends when the computer says landing completed. And then we have to upload to YouTube. Well, again, that's gonna happen. I don't know about whether I'm gonna survive this. Does that look like good clothing to you? I think they said that anybody who stops by would get a jacket for free. Well, I can't seem to buy it for not free, so... I think it was one of those jackets, so... Alright. To the spaceport again. Whoa, what did I just see? Oh, there's two trains overlapping each other. The two tr Jeez, come on guys. There were two trains overlapping each other and as we departed the other one was still there. That's also shouldn't be possible. I mean, that it's not doesn't take that much programming to make that not happen actually. It's fascinating. Text up there is a little bit messed up too. Anyway, we have to loop around, so. Oh, there, here comes the other train. Oh, 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 oh. And we'll see the other train. We're overlapping right now. What if I end up in the wrong train? At least. Okay, the other one stays there. So at least I'm my entity is sort of attached to this one, which is good. It sort of said, I am on this one. 
and I'm not accidentally going to be plopped into the other one. What what if actually there's another me riding the other train and it's like quantum, you know, we we it was quantum superposition, that's it. I think I should probably be on the other train. <laughs> the map's a bit weird about it though. I like the elevators in Mass Effect to some degree. With their banter and their, you know, news loops. They need to have some of that. I'm, I'm demanding new features when they can't even get done with the ones that they're supposed to have. But anyway, just saying. Would have liked to use the Merlin though. It was like I got it for racing. <laughs> Weird hop. Physics sometimes happens in this game. Well, at least my ship is still here. I mean, not still here. Is here. Now we have to find where we're supposed to go. Okay, let's see if I can get out of here properly. Okay, well, we just have to go forward. Whoa. Whoa. No. <laughs> Okay. You just go forward, please. Why do you have to go like that? You don't have to go like that. Oh, come on. Um, things are not working right. Oh, oh. Okay, well, we're moving in the right direction. This bodes well for my ability to complete this race, huh? Okay, they said it was close to the spaceport. Oh, oh god. Landing pad, small flashing red light. Um. Hold on, let me turn off the track IR for a sec. It's getting a little bit confusing. So this is the spaceport. With the small flashing red light. Well, I'm gonna try and get some altitude and see where this might be. Small flashing red light's a little bit vague. Oh, well, there's a blue light flashing over there. This one has a red light. Maybe this is it. There's a lot of flashing red lights though. Probably the way I'm landing is not going to be great for this. I don't think this is a flashing red light I'm supposed to go to. Oh, well, I guess it's sort of a landing pad. I, uh, uh, yeah, but is this the pad or not the pad? I'm gonna try and land on it. Okay, well, I don't feel like landing was very complete. I don't think this is the place. It was a flashing red light at the spaceport. Metro loop hub landing pad, huh? And we've got another flashing red light here, but it's probably trespassing again. Uh oh. Radar lock. I better get out of here. Uh oh. I don't know how to do chaff and flares yet. Well, that doesn't look like a very good place to land, whatever that red spot is. Maybe it's on the opposite side of this. Well, let's see.
Uh, yeah, I'm leaning towards we have to be on the opposite side. Well, anyway, let's take a quick look over here. Certainly no small flashing lights. Nice little alcove dough. Very stormy. Well, this is a red thing. We're doing here though. Is this oh apparently landing is complete. But uh, I don't think there's a special place where we're supposed to be. Oh here we go again. Oh 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 I need to check on my controls. Oh, 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 Um, okay, I got myself into this mess. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, that feels bad, that feels bad. Uh, okay, okay. I might have done damage to my ship though, which wouldn't be good for a race. I'm trying to figure out where to start the race, that's all. Why does that have to be so hard? Okay, so this is the Metro Loop. They said, and I quote, land as center as possible on the MT Metro Loop hub landing pad near the spaceport. So, it has to be in front of us somewhere. Maybe it's close to this. Because the uh, Metro sort of goes underground here. I should have fueled up too. Well, I don't see any flashing red light here. MT Metro Loop Hub flashing red light. Well, there's people running around there, but no flashing red light. That looks like a Metro Loop Hub. I had been up there at the top of that tower. To see if that was the place. Let me see if there's any signs at that place. Just random lights, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, that says Microtech. Oh, shoot. It's got red lights, too. But they're not flashing. There's a flashing blue light. Oh, I see a little red light there. You guys are nuts. You got too many other red lights. If that's the red light, they're nuts. No, but then this is a... I've seen this kind of pad before, though. This is horrible at directions. <laughs> okay, we'll give the gear down. I assume we'd be going in this direction, so... Okay... Is this gonna be a problem too, or not? Or is this... is this the solution? Problem or solution? Oh! No, I'm going right through. That's not a good sign. Uh, hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think this is the one. <laughs> Again, interesting collider implementation here. Got the gear down. Oh, I'm inside this thing. This It's probably not a good idea to be inside this thing. Oh, can I get out now? Impounding vehicle. They're gonna impound me. I don't even know where I am. Landing is complete. Warning. You are blocking an active flight bay. Please make it. Alright, uh can you let let me out? I don't know if this is going to work. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Okay, well, I can't proceed to the assigned landing bay. Oh, great. All right. Um, let me see if I can clip through somehow. No. Nope, they stored my ship. I can't figure out where the heck the race is. Tired of travel? Why not rest at the next newly renovated accommodation? Located downtown. All right. Well, I'm gonna try and figure out where the race is, and that'll be a different video. Things are a lot smoother now, as far as I mean, not in general. I mean, compared to when I just started playing uh, this session. The frame rates are smoother, but they are as you see it. Uh, I don't think OBS is currently having any trouble capturing it. So, it is my quest to try out this race, but I have no idea where the heck I'm supposed to start the race. There's a guy floating there. This is the fascinating thing about Star Citizen that this phase, the glitches. I mean, it's just... Uh, we're just cataloging all the interesting things that happen. Remember, your belongings belong to you. We have no expectation that things are going to work right. And they have... I mean, it's all physics, really. It's all physics. Colliders, people floating, people clipping into things. But anyway, alright. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.